Welcome back to XCOM. And uh, in this episode, Daddy needs an upgrade on Major Mkudo. Daddy needs his upgrade. Let's go. That's that's pretty much the, the gist of this. This should be our last mission before uh, we go and do the final one. Unless something, unless Mkudo fucks it up somehow. Which I wouldn't put it past him. Strike one. Prepare for landing. The Sky Ranger seems slower than normal. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Operation Vengeful Tears. It's because everyone's jealous of Canada. Alright, cue Canada jokes, let's go. Land this Sky Ranger and let's get this Central, shit this going. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Oh, great fucking starting position. I just want to mention that. Uh, let's see. Let's get our cloak going. And we're gonna move him up there because I'm not actually too sure if we're gonna see anybody. I just want to get them into positions. Uh, another cloak. And the second one will go right here. Surprisingly, nobody's actually there. That means we are free to move up with everybody. You know, I feel that, you know, just in case, I should, instead of just ending the turn and being lazy, I should just switch the weapons out. Because something might come out in patrol, and I might, I might, like, regret every decision I've ever made. Ever. Surprisingly, nobody's there. Um, I kind of want to put another heavy right here. It's a dash, though, but it's a risk I'm willing to take for the benefit of all mankind. Okay, uh, we can also move my supports directly up there. Which we will be doing. Even though I've already made a move. Surprisingly, nobody's actually home. Uh, uh, you, you got, these snipers can go back here and bring weapons. There's like supposed to be like 13 dudes here. Like, where are they? They're not home. Oh, well, you know, one more move up wouldn't hurt. Oh, here we go. Apparently, would hurt. Uh, no shots available. What the fuck? Well, we have a shredder rocket at our disposal, and we we also have a normal rocket. I'm actually kind of inclined to go go ahead and use that. Wow! That's a lot of damage you did. Uh, let's go up here. We can't actually shoot him from here. But here's what I'm thinking we do. Move him right here. And we get our second move with him right over here. And that means they're in a position where he hopefully can't shoot at them. But he may have an overwatch, but you know, it's a risk I'm willing to take, because it's only it's only MQ on the line. Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Please don't be on Overwatch. Oh god, chrysalids. <laughs> what have you done? Okay, that's an amazing shot you had there, Mkudo. Fortunately, I'd get you killed if I just did that. So I have to have a backup plan. I have to have a plan B. As of this moment, I don't actually have a plan B, and I but I do have a plan A, which is uh, basically kill him with the, my sniper. Plan A works always better than plan A than plan B. I mean, there are 100% chances to hit. That's, this is why I love the scope, you know? It's just amazing. Now, I don't actually know if she's going to take explosion, explosive damage at all, MQ to Will, but, uh, you know, I've done dumber things. Surprisingly, the answer would be no. I would have assumed yes, but the answer is actually no. Actually, probably MQ to should probably just move the fuck out of there. 
Well, uh, he's dead. Now, the problem was I wasn't actually watching to see if Mkuto got his upgrade, but, uh, you know, that's okay. Alright, well, let's see, uh, who else we got on the, uh, on the, what else we have on the menu today. Uh, well, I guess we're just gonna hop back down. I mean, that should, that should count, like, you know, it's, it's not one kill that was. Like, that's, that's a, that's the big sector pod. That should count as two kills, at, at the very least. It's not fair. Well, whatever. Well, we can't complain. We have we have a we have a job to do, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go do it. And we also have now our heavies to move up. Uh, where's my other heavy? Oh, you can only go right in front of there. All right. I always love having a sniper heavy squad, you know. You know, I, I maybe maybe for the future I'd probably have my uh, my supports worked more towards a, a more of a fire support role kind of a thing. Let's see if they're actually out here. I think they are. Uh oh no, they're not there. Are you sure they're not out there? Oh god, I think he's dashing somewhere I don't want him to. Oh fucking hell. He moved down there, like fuck. Well actually this works out. <laughs> okay, aim for that one first. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, and I'm kudo should just you should have just absolutely no trouble with that second one there. Fuck, I should have grenaded. Most of my snipers can't get a shot off. They also can't shoot up there. I can get one shot off. What if I just mind control one of them? That's a really good chance to mind control. Maybe I'll distract him. It's the best I can hope for at this point. Or maybe actually now Volkov can now run over there. Ah, uh, shit happens. Nope, he can't get over there without dashing. I don't think you'd be able to shoot at him from over there. He has to come over here. Nah, I don't have any options. It's just Overwatch. I also have him with his positive still. Hopefully he's just gonna like see the guy right in front of him and shoot him. Yes. Wow, how amazing was that how it worked out. So I could actually, if I wanted to, I could just fucking make him fly. He also suppressed, that's kinda funny. But uh, you know, Mkuto has a grenade. And you get two kills. I don't know if that one actually counts. But that's not actual friendly. Can I, like, cancel the fucking... I can't cancel the mind control. Oh, well. I just wanna... I just wanna keep the level up today, okay? These are guaranteed kills. Yeah, I don't care. Excellent. And that one's kinda just jiggling out. Oh, whatever. Well... You know, that didn't go quite as planned, but, uh, you know, at least, at least nobody died. Except for my, uh, my wanton hatred of, uh, of whoever the fuck this is. Griffith. God damn it, man. You, you had to just go all the way the fuck down there, didn't you? You had one job. One job, man. Alright, well, we're gonna keep everybody here in Overwatch. Uh, well, we'll just, uh, I guess move, uh, Griffith over here as well. If that's how you say your name, then yes. And, uh, Mr. Colin Walsh can come over here. So next turn, we can just, uh, hop right over into this place right here. 
I don't think we have actually that much left. We just have to kind of go through these doors now and uh, hope we see some action. So now we stack up on the door. Uh, I don't know if Kudo should be the first one to go in. I forget, I'm not going to go over his, his, his apparent squad name. It just seems racist. I don't know what race, but somebody's offended out there, I'm sure. Is that the cockpit or somewhere else? I don't really know. Well, let's go see what's here. Uh, oh, nothing. I'll uh, triple strike. Um, you just come right down here. We'll be able to see everything. Yeah! There we go. Fuck yeah. Okay. Um. Ghost armor. Bring my snipers into a better position. Also, uh, Mkuto will. Actually, my heavies will just come straight over here. Alright, uh, and my other have my other guy will just come straight over. Alright. Uh, let's see. Where are you, Mkuto? Just to make sure that they don't actually... Whoa, we can get up there. I don't really know why we would, but... Uh, something that's well within our power to do. Alright. So... Now they shouldn't come down this cor this corridor at all. Fuck, where'd they go? The shit we worry about, or at least I worry about. Oh, fuck, come on. Uh, boy. Alright, everyone, back over here then. Yeah, we're uh, we're trading places. That would be the place I would want actually imputed to be. Those are some really easy kills for him to get. Oh god, don't mind control me. I just want to love. Alright, 84. Should be an easy sh sh shot for you. Good man. He got his promotion. That's it. This is the last time we do this mission. So, which means now we have uh, free range to just shoot that fucker up. Uh, well, actually, she doesn't have sign armor anymore. That's why I'm like, eh, I'll try it again, but no. I legitimately laugh. I really laugh like that. Oh fuck! Fucking hell! Come on. All right, we got we got a we got a basically a. Oh wait, I, I can't actually. Fuck, stop that! Get me out of this. Okay, there we go. I was gonna cloak to get the second shot, but uh. You know, I guess that's not necessary. Actually, you know, what? I don't think it's necessary at all. We have a backup of we we have two heavies there, and the two heavies will handle it if they need to. That really was a headshot. Let's just go right here. Oh Jesus, he's coming. And it's a floater. Don't shoot him. Oh, no, that's triple strike. Now triple strike can take it. Actually, that was probably the worst damage you could possibly do. Uh, to Mkito, that is. Sorry, fucking triple strike. It's not triple strike at all. Alright. And we're just gonna go shoot this fucker. I mean, we got four sniper shots on it. Someone's gonna kill him today. That's why I love snipers. They're so reliable. Alright, uh, he'll be just out of range to help him, Kudo. My snipers really didn't actually even need to do anything. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what happened here? Uh, yeah. Say hello. 
Um, well, you know, first things first, we're gonna heal him. Uh, I didn't actually expect someone to come directly behind me. Uh, okay, and second move we're gonna make is directly onto here. Heavies kind of need to move their asses up to a place where they can actually fire grenades and whatever they do. It's the heavies. Okay. I wonder who actually can see him. Alright, well, whatever. We have a uh, cloak for these situations. Like, I'm being dead serious when I say, am I not convincing people that this is a fantastic fucking idea to have cloak on your guys? I mention it every time, and it's just like, you know, it's it's my thing, okay? Uh, okay. These guys can be okay. Uh, my two snipers will now be in Overwatch. Because it's not an offensive move until they use their turn. These guys won't be able to shoot back, they won't be able to return fire. Because they both use their turns at the same time. Great show. What, now we revealed them? Oh, I guess they weren't revealed before. Well, that, that guy's an asshole. It's like, game, are you even trying? Alright, well, 95%. Well... I thought I used headshot. Oh, well, it, it's not a guaranteed crit, anyways. So, my person's will is extremely strong, so really not even a question of, of uh, a problem or whatever. Alright, well, we still have one down there. Mr. Zhang, will you be as so kind as to... Uh, oh, God. You see him? You really do. You have suppression, though, so... We'll keep him. We'll keep him pinned down. We have a. Uh, well, we can use Telconnect Field. Sparkles. All right. Uh, and triple strike. You will come over here to help assist. We will begin. Can we not suppress? There we go. Thank you. Begin the suppression process of suppression. I wonder why they call it that. We can't actually shoot him back. What we can do is we can just kind of hop down here and shoot him next turn. And Volkov can... Volkov has a couple of options. I'm going to move him actually here. Or potentially over here, and he'll be able to kind of just drop down next turn. Okay, he probably knows something's up, but uh, I don't think he'll move, to be honest. If... No, he didn't even move. It's a shit chance to hit. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, Mkudo, you come over here first. We're gonna just use that mind fray thing. Because this will, uh,. Reduce their will, aim, and mobility, so... Hey. Kapow. And that leaves... Volk... Oh, well, actually, no, he's mad. I thought that reduces their will. It's not reducing will at all. Well, whatever. Anyways, uh, that'll leave uh, this guy really easy open for an attack. A flank shot. 100% chance to crit. Chalk up another one. And we're done. That was a really simple and easy mission. And I think we've had a lot of those recently, so... You know... We, we have absolutely nothing left to do, I think. Let's just uh, reserve judgment for when we get back here. The, the Sky Ranger doesn't really seem really slow. Well, we're back at base. It doesn't get much cleaner than that. Not a single casualty. Impressive work. <gasps> Well, that's it. So we either get Sentinel or Savior, and Savior is what we get. And that's it. Colonel... Well, actually, no, it's a... Uh, he's actually a Major now. We got a bunch of supplies, and, you know, if we, if we really want to whore out the money, you know, we can just sell. I've been stocking up all this on all this crap for, like, 
since the beginning of time. Look how many alien alloys I have. I'm just I'm right now just selling the stuff I'm free to sell. You know, there's plenty of other shit here that like I don't actually need. Like, like I don't know. What, what am I gonna do? With Seventy-five thin man corpses. Who knows? I just haven't really cared for a while. But uh, you know, this is as far as you get in terms of winning XCOM, I guess. But uh, we have like five thousand bucks, and uh, you know, uh, if we actually look at our team, you know, we got. Uh, Colonel Volkov, Colonel, Colonel Zhang, Colonel Mr. Shiv, Colonel Triple Strike, and now Mkudo is now Colonel as well. So Mkudo is uh, ready to go on a on a nice mission here. So uh, I guess that that's it for now. Um, so next time we will be doing a very special episode of XCOM as it is our final. And with that, we say we say hello I appreciate your and goodbye. To support the research team, and we support the research I've team. Put the new recruits to work in the lab. So, until then. We will be watching. <laughs>